It's been about two years. Haven't posted in a while, obviously. But we got this. I'm gonna take a little drive, a little cold start. Tell y'all what I got. Kind of experimental this video before I get out in the beginning of the season. So uh, I want to make sure that, you know, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it right, provide some good content. I can see that this is kind of out of focus already, so we're going to have to work on that. Just kind of give you guys a rundown of what it is and uh, get used to doing this YouTube thing again for a little bit until I completely forget about it again. <laughs> So this is the Camaro 1SS 1LE, you see right here, it's Camaro, and then it says SS. We'll talk a little bit about the car in a second, let's just talk about how I pretty much got it. Originally back in October of 2022, I had ordered a 23, because I was looking for a 22 originally. For some reason, GM put up the price from the 22 to the 23 by $2,000, and I wasn't really hyped about paying it, but since this is looking as of right now, uh, like the last year that they're going to put it out, a 23. Uh, I was like, you know what, screw it. I'll just have to bite the bullet and uh, pay the extra 2000 for the 23. So I ordered one from a local dealership that at the time wasn't charging any markup. A bunch of other dealerships were charging from 1000 to 7000 and they didn't even have it on the lot. You still had to order it. So obviously I went with the one that wasn't going to charge a markup and I put a deposit on it and I just waited from October up until December. Um, I was promised a six to nine month wait for these 1LEs because they're really on constraint. Being that, you know, th this is one of the last model years, they're gonna be a lot harder to come by when it comes to allocation and getting it from uh, GM directly. So I gave him a ring, said, hey, what's going on? You guys have any idea on the status of the car? Because um, I was originally told, and I could probably put pictures of it, that it was accepted about a month in. Essentially, GM toyed with me and I wasn't too happy about it. They said I had it. I was, you know, accepted by GM. All for me to realize about two weeks later that I actually wasn't. I, I didn't go about going on the Camaro 6 forum. I wasn't going to go through all that just to make an account and start bothering people to maybe not even get a response back. So yeah, up until about the beginning of February, I started getting really impatient. I was like, you know, the car season's right around the corner. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be waiting for this car to, um, you know, be accepted. And I just randomly looked up one day. I hadn't looked up, you know, random searches in a while. I found one of these maybe about... 120 miles away from where I live. Quickly went and saw it. A little, obviously a little back and forth from the dealer. Uh, that's a completely different story, but I don't even want to shout out the dealer. They put one of those plate things on the back. Like that black thingy right there. They put it on there, drove it off the lot. Literally the day I got home, took that shit off. Like worse, so not that I've dealt with a lot of dealers, but a lot of my friends said that, you know, that experience was incredible and that they had never heard of anything like that. Even going through the credit union, which I think is a big reason as to why it was so difficult to deal with them. But anyways, yeah, I went, got it, uh, brought it back, put about 700 miles on it, took it down to Long Island, even parked it in some really sketchy lot that I'll probably throw a picture up of. Now about the car, like I said, it's the one SS, so you're not gonna get all the luxury things like the heated seats and cooled seats and uh, the Bose sound system and the lights on the um, doors. But I mean, as far as all that luxury goes, I really didn't care too much about it. Instead of getting the two SS, I preferred to just spend that money on getting the one LE. Upgraded with some alloy pedals, usually comes with some plastic ones. Uh, originally I wanted some red seat belts, but um, this one I bought used with really low miles currently i think it only has like 26 2600 miles over there so like i said i've driven it a little bit 700 miles which isn't a whole hell of a lot the lsd has a little front lip right here and i changed the side markers these used to be a bright red and a bright orange up front aside from that i got a catch can under the hood um and yeah, aside from that, it's really stock. Dual mode exhaust. I've seen a couple of rapid blues with the blue hood and I feel like it's just too much blue. I like how the black just splits it and it just drops down to the grill. Recaro's from the 1LE. Uh, very, very, I mean, for now, I know a lot of other people um, have driven theirs a lot more and the bull string gets kind of weak. For now, um, it holds me pretty well. Let's see if we get a little stock exhaust rev. <laughs> Uh, as far as any upcoming things I'm trying to do, uh, you got 285s in the front and 305s in the back. So 
to consider it to myself, I'm gonna put some rock guards up front to cover these from hitting my rocker panel on the side of my car, although I might have a couple of dings here and there. And to be considerate of others, uh, I'm probably gonna buy some mud flaps as well for back here, because as you can see, I washed this car right before I put it away, and the first time I took it out was today. That happened, all that happened in about maybe 20 minutes of driving, so. That and obviously rock chips for the people that are gonna be behind me. Uh, additional to that, obviously this car is going to look great with some side skirts, which I have ordered. Don't want to drill into my car, but I'm afraid I might have to. Uh, obviously 3M tape will help, but I think it'll look a lot better. I'm not too worried about when it comes to selling the car, because I'm planning on keeping this one for a while. And I'm going to do that correction, obviously, because I'm going to get a PPF done in some of the high contact areas, like the rockers. A pillar, B pillar, pretty sure the hood because I don't want to have to rewrap the whole hood. Obviously the front bumper, front fender, uh, the mirror caps, and some people are saying windshield, I don't know. Definitely I'm going to get tints, that's the other thing, but I'm not sure about the windshield. That's pretty much the car. Uh, as far as the money goes, if anyone's interested, I could talk about that in another video. Um, yeah, a lot of things to come on this channel. Probably going to go to some meets. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know. If you think the color's shit, let me know. Give it a like. Drop a comment uh, and maybe I'll see you guys out. I don't know.